Yeah, so if you go to the election website for Fairfax County, you're gonna see a disclaimer. Let's show it to you. It says that the candidate, Marcia C. St. John Cunning, has been disqualified, saying that this was all due to a court directive from a judge. And today, we got a hold of that directive, which partially explains what happened here. This is the order signed by Circuit Court Judge, indicating that on page four of the candidate's filing, she used a different home address than the one she used on the front page, and that the site in question, quote, is not an actual address. When you first heard about this, what was going through your head? Um, I was surprised. I, I didn't expect something like this. Now the candidate is speaking out to explain what happened. She says on one page of 13, she made a mistake. There was a one digit uh, typo a clerical error. Where there was supposed to be a one, she put a nine. My biggest frustration right now is all the people that have voted in good faith that are disenfranchised. This court order must not stand. The decision is sparking outrage from the Fairfax Democrats who support St. John Cunning. Her disqualification means the sole candidate left is Kevin Pinckney, who's supported by the Fairfax GOP. In a statement today, Mr. Pinckney's campaign told us, quote, she should follow the rules like everyone else and not blame others for her mistakes. We need school board members who understand accountability, adding, who doesn't know their own address? With early voting already underway, the Fairfax County Office of Elections tells us that they will be posting notice at every polling place, letting voters know about the disqualification. But because of the late ruling, St. John Cunning's name will still appear on the ballot. In front of her home today, St. John Cunning says that she's not giving up, saying an appeal against the ruling is still possible, and that for now, she's urging voters to support her as a write-in candidate instead. It's just going to take a few extra steps. You just have to write in instead of bubble. But if it's important to you, you'll take that extra step. All right, meanwhile, we reached out to the Fairfax GOP today. They called the ruling a clear victory for the rule of law, saying that the rules should be applied uniformly to everyone.